What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to beat your competition so you can finally start making a profit. So if you've tried drop shipping time and time again and failed time and time again, struggle to make it work, struggle to make it profitable, then this is the video for you. Today, I'm going to show you three ways in which you can stand out from your competition so that customers choose your store to buy from. Before we jump into these three points though, I just want to take a quick minute to mention saturation because it's quite a big concern, especially for beginners looking for new ways to make money. A popular question I get asked or a comment left on one of my videos is, is dropshipping too saturated? Now, my own opinion on it is that nothing can be too saturated. All that increased competition does is forces that kind of bottom level of standard higher. It just means that us as dropshippers, as business owners, we have to do things to a higher standard, to a higher quality in order to succeed. And by doing these three things, that's exactly what they're gonna help you to do. These are three things that I see probably 95% of Shopify stores not doing so by doing these they're definitely i'm almost confident enough to guarantee that they will improve your results and so with that being said thanks for tuning in guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you do and let's jump straight into point number one so the first thing you can do is custom packaging and just to kind of illustrate my point on this which one of these looks more professional so you're going to see two screenshots from the same company the same shopify drop shipping store however one has custom packaging like this and two is just the generic image imported from AliExpress. So this is number one, it's got that custom packaging box clearly at the top there of the product page. It's got the colors in theme in keeping with the branding of the store, that kind of greeny color at the top. And then number two is just a random pink color. Nothing is kind of uniform or connected or relative to that logo at the top. So a customer coming on to either of these stores, which one do you think they're gonna trust or think is more legitimate and more professional and therefore more likely to make a purchase with. It's number one, because it's more on brand and there's that impression of there being custom packaging that comes with every product. So by showing this on a Shopify store, on a product page, immediately it's gonna give off that impression to the customer, which will carry over into trust in them buying the product form from you. Now, you might be thinking, how do I go about getting custom packaging without spending a fortune? So there's a couple of things you can do from this point onwards. Number one is you can use a website called placeit.net. So if we jump on to place it and at the top in all categories, just search for box packaging, you can find one that matches the products that you're selling. And if I just hover over some of these, you can see essentially what it is you can create. So if we go for this one, for example, then we can see that there's two different images we need to upload here. So we have this top one, which is 1600 by 2050. And then we have this second one, which is 640 by 2050. So it's fairly straightforward. Let's go for this top one, 1600 by 2050. I'm not gonna go through a, a full example because it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you couple place it with Canva, then you can just go to file, create new design, custom size. You can put exactly the size in you need to match the packaging. And then when you upload it, you'll be able to get essentially what looks like like a fully branded box that matches your product. The second way is depending on what your product is or depending on how established or what your long-term goals are, is you can go with an agent such as BS Dropship. And these are guys that have experience using and I can vouch for them. They're a great agent and we can see part of their services include branding so they essentially they can put your logo on your product or they can print it onto a gift box luxury box poster leaflet thank you cards so on and so forth so it is possible to drop ship with custom branding so if you've been struggling up to this point then definitely consider trying out place it trying out canva getting some custom packaging and ideas on your store something else you can do as well let's go to mock-ups apparel and then t-shirts you can see it'd be very easy to find a couple of people or one person who looks like they're in a professional background and put your logo on their t-shirt and then advertise it as like your customer service team just to give that kind of impression that you are a more established business and again kind of put humans behind the brand to legitimize it the next thing you can do to be your competition and stand out from everybody else is to use UGC, that's user generated content. So typically this will be an actor off of Fiverr who will unbox your product and talk about it. It could be an influencer unboxing it and talking about it, showing its real life applications. And the other thing is original content. This is essentially content that you pay for somebody to create for you or you create it yourself. Essentially it's content that hasn't been used anywhere else and you own that content. If you wanted kind of like the perfect order in terms of priority of content to use this is 
more specifically for your ad creatives, but also for the content that you post on your socials as well. So number one is UGC. This will be featuring a real person and face, typically in kind of like a selfie format like that, just kind of filming and talking about the products that works really nicely. Number two is original content and number three is recycled content. So probably 90, 95% of dropshipping stores will use recycled content. What that essentially means is it's existing content taken from AliExpress suppliers, taken from other dropshipping businesses. It's different three to five second clips, all kind of mashed together with subtitles and some cheesy music. Now, don't get me wrong, that can work. However, by using UGC or original, then you significantly increase your chances of success. So if you haven't tried that yet, then I 100% recommend doing so. There's loads of advantages to doing this using UGC and original. However, the main one is that there's no mistaking you versus another business that is selling the same product. So if you are experienced when it comes to dropshipping, you may have experienced it yourself. People messaging you, people commenting on your posts, on your ads saying, hey, I bought this product from you a few weeks ago. Where the hell is it? And when you You've asked them for their email address for their order number and you've checked it in your dashboard only to find out they didn't actually order the products from you this is because they're getting you confused with another drop shipping company that they've bought that product from so the reason why this is a bad thing is because if somebody has seen that same product you're advertising elsewhere and you're using a very similar ad with similar content they're just going to assume it's the same company and they're just going to scroll right past it and not go into your store and not make a purchase however if you have original content that they've never seen before and better yet you've got a real person talking to them through a camera you're much more likely to capture their attention sell them on the product for them to then go on and make that purchase to give you a great example of what i mean by this then something that you should try and model your products your ads your business on is these guys here so here we have a UGC and original mashed into one type style video. It's only 20 seconds long. It features and shows exactly what the product is. It has somebody talking over it about what the product is as well and how cute it is and the benefits. It then has somebody scrolling through their website, showing the different range of products. And like I said, it's only 20 seconds long. It's super quick, super easy and super effective and it works. And just to prove that it works, let's take a look at the engagements and comments. So here we can see it's an ad that started in December 14th, 2022. So this is not even a month old yet, has 22,000 reactions, nearly 5,000 comments and nearly 2 million views. If we have a look at the comments then, just to kind of confirm that people are buying this product and they're happy with the product. We have Anne Brown from one day ago, brilliant company. She's ordered the puffer coat. Emily here has posted a picture of her partner by the looks of it and their dog wearing the products. This was four days ago. We have Penny here who's posted pictures of the products with either her or her partner. I can't see, I haven't got my glasses on. We have Jill here who's posted a picture with the products. We have Maida um, who's posted a picture with the product. Another person, another person, another person, another person, another person, another person, another person. You get the gist. This is a great ad creative. It's a proven product and people, there is no doubt, people are buying it. The third and final thing you can do to separate yourself from the competition and make pretty much a night and day difference. The second I started doing this, it made a difference to me. So I am extremely confident it can make that same difference for you, which is reviews on your Facebook ads. So reviews on your Shopify store, customers have become aware that they're easy to fake. When you have over a thousand reviews on your Shopify store, and yet you're trying to advertise a product that currently has five likes, it doesn't match up there. People aren't going to be happy. They're not going to buy into it, basically. They're not going to trust the reviews. So a better way to combat this is to get customers to leave reviews on your Facebook ads. And to get this going, you can ask family and friends to do so. So the reason why this is extremely important is because the following. Your ad is to sell people on the product. So the features, the benefits, etc. Once they've watched the ad creative and they become sold on the products, they like the product, they want the product, there's two barriers, there's two things which stand in the way of that person becoming a customer. Number one, is the product affordable? So as long as you're not selling it for a ridiculously expensive price, then the customer is gonna be happy. Although the second thing and the hardest thing, hurdle, obstacle to overcome, is a person's fear of whether your business is legit. 
And this is where comments come in. Even if you have 50 reviews, 100 reviews on your Shopify store, people have become wary of how easy it is to fake those. However, if you have comments on Facebook from real people, so people can click on their profile and see it's a real person, better yet, they can see a picture of the person with the product that matches their Facebook profile, just like that Facebook ad creative that I showed you then that person no longer has to worry about whether you're a legitimate business or not because they can clearly see there's real people that have bought this product. And just to give you some examples then of what these look like, here's some snapshots I've taken. Um, Jamie Dyer, identical to the photo, posted a picture of the product, brilliant. And then here's some more, again, from real people. You can click on these guys' profiles, see that they're a real person, and the fact that they've posted things like, ordered one yesterday, just ordered them both for my daughters, bought this for my daughter for Christmas, and she loves it, just ordered one for my daughter. It's comments like this which break down that barrier from the customer, and they feel confident, and they feel safe enough to then make a purchase with you. The most important thing I guess is that they trust you and that's exactly what comments do and so with that being said guys that is the three things I can't emphasize enough these three things have made significant differences to my business so I am 100% confident they can make a difference to yours if you're still at those early beginner stages and you want some help getting your business off the ground you've got to check out my free training 100% free won't cost you any money everybody who goes along as well gets a free copy of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023 so this training will show you how to build and launch your online business and start making sales in less than 21 days. It's one to two hours long. As you can imagine, there's a lot to cover with starting a new business. So block out some time, bring a pen and paper because there is a lot to learn. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.